Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today we're going to take a look at how you can create this glitch logo animation in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. Using the native plugin inside After Effects, I'm going to show you how you can create this glitch effect and RGB shift. So before we get into that, I want to draw your attention to my analytics. You see, majority of you are watching this video, over 85% of you watching this video, but yet you are not subscribed. Why? So please, it is free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Encourage me to keep doing this and help me get to 2K subscribers before the end of the third quarter. It is actually free to do at any time. If you do not like what I am doing right here, you can easily go there and also unsubscribe. It is very easy and it is free to do. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this. Now in After Effects, create a new composition. Feel free to use your own setting. I'm gonna change the background color because this time I am not going to use any background. So I'm gonna choose a dark gray for this. Feel free to choose your own color based on your own brand and then hit okay. So it is time to import our logo. Navigate to where you have saved the logo, drag and drop it into your project manager window. We're gonna set this to footage and then hit okay. Now drag and drop your logo into your timeline. By the way, I got this logo from freepeak.com. It's an amazing website and I've been using their logo to show you how to animate logos right here. You feel free to check them out. They have some wonderful free packages right there. So I'm going to select this logo. If I'm not satisfied with the scale right here, I can just hit S on my keyboard to just set the scale and the level I want it to be. Somewhat like this is okay, about 80%. Then I'm going to hold down the control key and shift then hit C on my keyboard to pre-compose this logo layer. I will name this logo holder. Make sure you select move all attribute to the new composition and then hit OK. Now I'm going to slice this logo into three pieces. I will just use the mask tool then duplicate this some couple of time and then get my slices. Now I have the slices of my logo. So what I'm going to do is to offset this on the timeline. I would like the first one to appear first, somewhat at this level. Then the second one appear. This is actually random. I'm doing this randomly. So feel free to do your own. I split this in two seconds. So you see this and this. I skipped one step that I was supposed to take before this one. So I'm going to select the entire logo layer. I was supposed to add this fill color before slicing the logo, but I will just add a fill effect. So we're going to switch to this effects and control and change this to whatever color we may like. So I'm going to go with somewhat blue or gray like we have on the logo somewhat like this is okay so i'll simply just copy this fill effect and apply it to the rest of the duplicate and you have this so now i'm going to duplicate the top logo layer again ctrl d on your keyboard to do that i'm also going to offset this to about this point i'm going to offset this to about this point and on this layer i'm going to delete the mask and also turn off the fill effect and also turn off the fill effect or completely remove it. So if you take a look at this now, you have your logo revealing in parts and then the main color also revealing. Now control N on your keyboard to create a new composition. I'm gonna name this uh, fractal Leave it at the same frame rate as what you have on your main composition and then hit OK. So I'm going to right click on my timeline, go to new and create a new solid layer. We're going to name this noise. 
So let's search for fractal noise. So we're going to make some changes to this. This is what we are going to use to affect our logo to glitch. So let's go into these parameters right here. We're going to change this from basic to dynamics. Noise type to blocks. Go into the transformation on check uniform scale. We're going to scale the white as long as we possible. The wider it is, the tinier your glitch. I mean, the wider it is, the wider your glitch. So if you want smaller glitch, you can just reduce this to something like this. But I'm going to leave it at 80. Let's adjust the brightness and contrast. I'm going to increase the contrast. Increase it to a very high number. And then reduce this, the brightness a bit to, to negative numbers, somewhat like this. I'm happy with this. So let's go into the evolution. You hold down your Alt key and click on the evolution. This is going to ask you to enter an expression on the timeline right here. So we're going to enter this expression time asterisk 500. This will cause our noise to animate like this over time, but I am not happy with the speed. I'm going to crank this up to about 3000. I actually need it to be very fast because glitching happens very, very fast. So I'm going to crank this to 3000. I'm editing the expression, removing the 500 and making it 3000. Beautiful. If you are familiar with glitching screen, you will see that this is somewhat like that. So let's switch this panel to the project manager window and then go back to our main composition. Drag and drop this fractal composition into your timeline. And we're going to hide this because we don't need it to show for it to glitch this our logo. This is the far most, the most effective way to create a glitch. Whatever style of glitch you want to create in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. So I'm going to right click on my timeline now and create a new adjustment layer. We're going to add a displacement map effect to this adjustment layer. Let's switch this effects and control again. We're going to make some changes to this. Remember what we named our last composition, which is fractal. So I'm going to change that to this. So if you play now, you will see that there is some little, little glitch going on on the logo. I don't know if you can see that. Let me fit this to screen. I'm going to also drop the resolution because I'm recording at the same time. This is having a tool on my computer. So. I'm going to preview this so that you see the glitching happening already. You can see that the glitch is already happening, but this is consistent, but we're going to add some creativity to it. So if this is what you want, you can just leave it at this moment. But of course, this is not what I want to get. So now I'm going to increase the these numbers on the max horizontal displacement and then vertical displacement this so we're going to increase that the more you increase that the more effect it has on the on the logo you see that so if you also increase the max vertical you can see all the displacement happening so you're going to just adjust this to whatever is pleasing or you may like to have on your logo then once you have it that's all. So, so I think I'm happy with this glitch intense. So what we're going to do now, of course, it is not creative to have everything glitching all through. So what we're going to do now is to select the adjustment layer and go to the point where this animation is happening from the beginning. We're going to hold down the shift and control D to cut that. So that is going to help us cut this. So you will see that if you preview now, the glitch only happened from the beginning. And when the second part of the logo is coming, I'm going to also allow the adjustment layer to happen right there. I'll also 
control shift D to cut it. I'll shift it. I'll trim it to this point where the full logo is finishing to. I'll control shift D again to cut that. So I'm going to crop this, trim this to this point where the full color is coming in. I'll control shift D to also have that. So I will want it to glitch a little bit somewhat around this time before the end of the animation. So I'll just manually do this because the logo is completely revealed already. So what I'm going to do now is to go into each of these adjustment layer. I'll make changes to the horizontal and vertical displacement. I'll just randomize the numbers. I don't want it to glitch as if it was the same. So if you preview now, this is what you have. Beautiful. If this is what you want, you can just end it here. But I'm going to add more creativity because at every glitch, I want to add a color shift to this. So let's do the color shift. I'm going to duplicate the bottom layer. That is the bottom logo holder right here. Select it, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. I'm also going to select it and then remove the mask. Hit M on your keyboard, of course, to reveal it. And then select the mask backspace to remove it. Now, I'm going to also remove the 3D effect and remove the keyframes. Actually, you can use as many colors as you want. It is called the RGB color shift. So I'm just going to use the red and the green. Just two colors, so you can use multiple colors as you want. So I'm going to change this to red or somewhat like a magenta. And then hit OK. So I'm going to duplicate the same layer and change this color to green or blue if you want. You can use the complete RGB, but I'm just going to use two colors right here. So I'm going to go with this blue is to hit P on my keyboard. I will just offset the color like this. Feel free to do this to whatever you like. So at this point, feel free to be creative. So I don't want the color shift to start from the beginning. So I'm gonna of course start that from the second one. So I'm gonna select both color layers from this point right here. Control Shift D on my keyboard to cut that. So I'm gonna delete this first two part and I'll select the both layers again I want to cut that right here I'll move it up so that I'll keep everything organized so I'm gonna go to this point again where the logo glitches I'm gonna crop this trim that to that point then I'll control shift D to cut it again I'll move it up to keep things organized once more. So I'm going to go to where the entire logo becomes here. So I'm going to trim this to that point. At this point right here, I will just need only one color. So I will delete the red. I will delete the blue and leave the red. Then I will also cut it and delete the remaining part. So if you preview now, this is what you have. Beautiful. So I'm going to select all the layers. Control Shift uh, C on my keyboard to pre-compose them. I'm going to name this all logo glitch. Of course, feel free to name it your own. Make sure move all attribute to the new composition is checked and then hit OK. So what we're going to do now is to add a little noise to this. So I'm going to right click on my timeline, go to new and then create a new adjustment layer. So I'm going to search for the noise and grain effect. I'll just play around with the amount right here. If you want, you can make the noise and grain an RGB. This is just to give it a little style so that we don't have a smooth logo. You can just go around to create more adjustments to this. 
So, and this is what you have. Beautiful. So you can just reduce the noise. Let me add the noise to be five. Let's see what will happen. Of course, all this depends on preferences. I can see that the five is not too visible, although my resolution is slow right here. So I'm gonna choose a number between 10. I'm gonna set this to seven. And there you have it. This is how to create a glitch logo animation or logo reveal in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button. That will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll reply to all questions as quick as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support me in any way. You can give me super thanks. Subscribe to my membership. Whatever way you want to support me with, even if you share the video, that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated. If you like the video, leaving a comment is all a support. So in whatever way you are able to support me, I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.